Welcome to Sheikha Alfani, Chairperson of Satuk, the highest organising committee of the World Cup. Let's start by talking about the fact that many people have been waiting for the repeated success of Satuk 2015. Why postpone Satuk 2017? I'd like to start by uh, saying, of course, it's common knowledge, but uh, the orphans or the disadvantaged children that we work with, they're very important to us and anything we do obviously is uh, for their benefit. If we feel that something isn't going to be quite for their benefit or is not going to help them as much as we wish for it to help them, uh, we'd have to take a step back and rethink and think of what the next steps are going to be. Uh, there are several reasons for why we took the decision to postpone the 2017 Cup and uh, if we didn't believe that it was for the benefit of the children we would not have done it and if if the challenges weren't so great if the obstacles weren't so high then we definitely wouldn't have postponed it as well but I am sure and I know it's gonna be better than in the future than it would have been if it were to, to be organized right now um, so back again, there are several reasons why we postponed it, uh, including the political climate that's so very evident right now. Uh, it is a factor. And also that we, we believe in equal opportunities for the kids. And if we feel that a team can't travel to the country or um, uh, the politics in their country won't allow them to get the visas, uh, then we have to stop and we have to think about ways on how to let them participate because even if it's just one team out of the 24 it's a very big and is a thing for us it's very important that every single child has the opportunity to participate in this tournament they've been practicing for a year and a half and they're hopeful to come uh, to the event and then to just shatter their dreams at the very last moment is something that's unthinkable for us at Satic. you mentioned um the children being at the centre of Satuk. Exactly how many, or approximately how many orphans are due to participate in Satuk 2017? So we have 24 teams participating this year, and we have eight children from each team participating. And what message would you like to send to all those children? Like you mentioned this is an opportunity for them to experience something that they've never experienced before. Yes. They've trained for a considerable amount of time. What would you like to say to them in, in light of the postponement? I'd like to say that they should, they should have faith in us that we're doing something great. It will be something great. We promise you that much. Uh, if it's postponed, please don't worry. Um, we're not giving up on you. We're not giving up on your dreams or your ambitions. In fact, I believe in that word more. Uh, our existence, Satek's existence, is all for you, for uh, your happiness, for uh, opening doors for you. So have faith that anything we do, any action we take, any decision we make is for your benefit. And don't give up and please stay hopeful. Do the current political challenges that are facing the Satek 2017. Does that make you more determined to carry out the tournament and fulfil it despite the delays or whenever it may be? Of course, um, whatever challenges, we know, we have faith in our abilities. We know we will overcome it. We know we will surpass it. Um, it might take a bit of time, uh, uh, but in the end, we will do something. We will uh, reach our goal. Uh, whether it's a political challenge, whether it's uh, any other type of challenge, it doesn't make a difference to us. It's still a challenge and it's still something that we know we can crack down and we know we can move on from it. Now, obviously, the difficulties have a huge impact upon the orphans and the participants. And you've sent a, a very heartfelt message to them that you're not giving up on them. Yeah. But it also affects other um, participants, such as the sponsors. Yeah. Um, what would you like to say to them? I'd like to say to them, thank you for 
supporting us and I look forward to working with you even more and it's very important that we work with each other now more than we did before because now we have a challenge and now we have a, 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 a goal that we've determined even more to reach. Uh, we have to all work together for this to become a success. Just one of us not putting our hands with each other is it's not it's not going to help us reach our goal. Uh, in the end, we want to help these children. These children don't have anyone. Uh, they've always been told no. They've been always been told that they can't do something. It is our duty for us to stand by them, for us to give them the opportunity to create or to reach their ambitions. So now is not the time to give up on each other. And I am grateful for their support once again. And also the officials and participating countries. Obviously, there must be great frustrations for them and for Satuk. Um, and I imagine a lot of patience has been needed in light of the political difficulties. What would you mm. like to say to them? Um, as always, thank you for your patience and thank you for your support. I know you have great faith in us and that is what has fueled your patience. Uh, I'm sure that we're going to do something great together and I emphasize together because alone, Satak alone, we can't do it. We all need each other. We all need each other just like we need the sponsors. Uh, we need to work together for the sake of these children. So I request more of your patience and more of your support and hopefully no one will regret it and we'll do something great. And finally, let's just touch on Satak's motto, yes. which states no discrimination based on race, colour or religion. Do you feel Satak can preserve and uphold this motto despite the difficulties that I think that has been faced? Of course, of course. It's, it's, uh, it is our motto in the end and it's the most important uh, thing that we uphold. Uh, every child is the same, everyone is born the same. We cannot, we cannot just tell a child no, we can't support you because you're a certain race or gender or colour. We have to treat them all equally. If we give an opportunity to one child, we have to give the same opportunity to another. It's only right. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you and wish Satuk and the Championship every success in their continued pursuit of enriching orphans' lives worldwide. Thank you.